What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone tuning in. There's a lot of people that's been wanting me to speak on what Steve Harvey had to say in regards to what he feels like is a generation of men who should not be asking women to bring anything to the table. You know, Steve Harvey believes that it's a man's job to take care of a woman, even her children as well, because he's done that. You know, he took care of another man's child. And now he's here to shame a generation of men who, by the way, were raised by women to tell them what they should do for women. You know, I have no problem with, with uh, Steve, Steve Harvey having his own thoughts and opinions about what he feels men should or shouldn't be doing as far as a man's perspective, right? But we all know that, that Steve Harvey's perspective is very warped because he's wrote a book to women about how basically to manipulate a man. We see why Lori Harvey is the way she is, even though she's not his daughter. This guy is very much so about the woman. He's about putting the women in position to get over on men. I feel like Steve Harvey is losing his mind. You know, Steve Harvey lost his show as well. You know, I spoke about, I spoke about Jada Pinkett losing her show on Fox, not Fox, excuse me, on Facebook, Facebook watch. He lost his show as well. You know, his, his show is now homeless. And he's doing this interview with Shannon Sharp, and he's basically pledging his his allegiance to the heifer, the 2023 heifer. Let me tell you something, uh, Steve. The women of today are not worth it, bro. They're really not. Because a lot of these women get into these relationships with dysfunctional men, have children with those men, and then they seek to be saved, right? Once they've been ran through... They seek a man to save them. And not all men want to do that. Also, you got this feminist mindset that a lot of women have, especially in the melanated community. In the melanated community, you have a lot of feminist minded women that will not follow a man. It don't matter if that man got money. See, Steve thinks that if a man has money, it's going to change that woman. It, no, it's just going to hide who she is for a little while. But eventually she's going to show who she really is. And a lot of men are not trying to deal with a dysfunctional heifer. We're just not going to do that. A lot of men will prefer to be single than deal with the Western woman. We're not going to just take her baggage on. We're not just going to take care of her children by another man. A lot of men of today do not want to wife up single mothers because a lot of times those women don't have the qualities that men want in a woman. That's why men are going overseas, Steve. Steve, I think you're losing it, bro. I know you wifed a baby mama, but the majority of Western men are looking for an escape to escape the, the Western woman who has done nothing but turn his life upside down. For you to get on this particular podcast and for you to act like this generation of men are the problem, you must not have you must not see what's going on out here and how crazy these women have gotten. These women are not feminine anymore, especially women in America, North America. They're not feminine. They hate masculinity. They want to usurp it. But here you are saying is something wrong with this generation of men. These women talk about how educated they are. They talk about how successful they are. So yes, men are going to say, okay, what you bring to the table? You don't cook and clean. You refuse to take care of the, the, the home duties that a, a wife would do. You want 50 50. So why wouldn't we ask what they bring to the table? That's because they're not bringing much except for their bodies. That's it. So let's get into what Steve had to say. All right. But that's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. I don't think so, Steve. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't see, I don't see a lot of women elevating men in 2023 where are the women who are elevating men in 2023 steve steve where are the men that are where are the women who are elevating men in 2023 where are they 
These women are not elevating anybody anymore because these women only care about themselves. They only want a man when he's already successful. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That yeah, to take care of their children with, with the woman that they had those children with, Steve. This ain't the 50s or the 60s anymore, or even the 70s. These women who are single mothers want men to take care of the children they have with another man that they are still in love with. But we don't want to talk about that. That's our damn job. But that's what's wrong with this general. No, it's our job to go out there and be the best success that we can for ourselves and our families. Not to go try to save a woman from, uh, from her horrible choices in men, Steve. Let me tell you something, Steve. These generation of men were raised by women. They love their mothers. They love the women in their family, but that doesn't mean that they are going to save women from their horrible decision. Look at, look at Laura. You better hope she don't become a baby mother. When she become baby mother, what are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to speak about how a man need to save her. See, that's the problem. A lot of these Gen Xer baby boomer males, they're still thinking that it is the sixties or the seventies. No, it is not brother. This is 2023. These heifers don't care. They really don't. Generation today, these young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. I have never seen that. Especially nowadays, women complain about having to build up a man. <laughs> If, if listen, if that was true, Steve, why are so many women single across the board? More and more women are divorcing their husbands. They're leaving long-term relationships, but they're not finding anybody. They're still single, Steve. They're still on social media. They're going on YouTube shows, trying to find a boyfriend. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? Yes, it's our job to take care of our children that we have with a woman. Yes, not to be a stepdaddy. I don't, I don't, I don't think that men should seek to be stepdaddies. Do not save these heifers from their bad choices. If, if, a, if a woman, her whole adult life has been dating losers, let her stay out there because what, what women will do is they will try to slick change. They'll try to slick change for like the short term and pretend like they have all these good qualities when they have no good qualities, they will fake it until they get somebody. Let them help us go. Let them go. That's our damn job. But that's what's No, it's my job to be a success for myself and my family instead of trying to save these heifers from themselves. But men like Steve wants women to win. He wants the heifer to win. And the thing is, there are there are people out here who will say women are winning. But if that's true, then how come they seem so miserable? I don't see a lot of happy, successful single women out here. I don't. You know why? Because they're constantly on social media crying and complaining and bitching about passport bros and about men who saying this about women and that about women. If you're living your life the way that you're supposed to be living it, then you wouldn't know what's going on with men of today. A lot of you people are stupid. You're miserable and your life sucks. And that is a you problem, Steve. Not, not, not you in particular, but the narrative that you're trying to put out here. A lot of these women are, are miserable. You're a mouthpiece for the Western heifer. And I'm here to tell you, ain't no saving them. Ain't no saving them, Steve. Ain't no saving them. A lot of these women need to be left behind because they are nothing more than leeches. Leech off your energy. Your goodwill. If you're being a good guy to them, they're not going to take you seriously. They're going to take advantage of you. A lot of these women just don't care, Steve. So while you're telling men that they need to basically man up 
and do better and save these women from themselves. These women don't want to be saved, Steve. That's what I hear. I hear these women are happy and successful, but he's saying that these young generation of men need to step up. Well, Steve, if you start being a father figure and actually talking to these men, then maybe you can impart that wisdom in what they should do in order to be successful to where they could find a good woman in their life. So let me know what's in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next.